Amri. My name is Mama Afnan Bisaudin. My name is Omar Kumaris bin Omar. Today we are going to present our project which is Stopwatch. Objective. In this project, we apply digital electronics in daily life. We provide a product where it serves as a stopwatch by using digital system knowledge. This will increase our understanding of this topic where we are able to make a product out of it. Stopwatch is a timepiece designed to measure the amount of time that elapses between its activation and deactivation, or set and reset. Introduction One of the most useful components of a digital system is the counter. A counter is a sequential circuit that can count the number of clock pulses it receives as an input. The counter's output reveals a circuit a certain state sequence. This is because the pulse intervals in the applied clock input are known and fixed. As a result, the time and hence the frequency of the occurrence may be determined. A binary counter is created by arranging a collection of flip-flops in a specific order. The counter counts the clock pulse that are applied. We know that a flip-flop can have two states, thus there will be two end states for end flip flop, allowing us to count from 1 to 2. A synchronous counter. Counters that do not simultaneous clocking are known as a synchronous counter. Only the first flip flop in an asynchronous counter is externally synchronized by a clock pulse, whereas the clock input for subsequent flip flops is the output of a previous flip flop. This means that a single clock pass does not drive all of the flip-flops in the counter's configuration. A synchronous counter, also known as a ripple counter, are made up of a series of trailing edge-triggering flip-flops that are connected in a loop. The name comes from the fact that data ripples from one flip-output flops to the next input. Methodology this stopwatch circuit was created by using Protis 8. This software are the simulation for the real circuit to look exactly like the real one. The model was built using SOLIDWORKS. Component list. We use one resistor 220K, three resistor 1K, one capacitor 1 microfarad, one switch, one push button, one IC 550, Two IC 4062, two seven segment display, common cathode, and one LED red. This is the sample for the circuit of stopwatch. As you can see, we use a IC 550 to make a timer for the start and stop. Uh, next, we can see that uh, IC4026 are used for the supply to the 7 segment display. This is our stopwatch product. We have two display screen for two digit number. And we also have two button. First button function is for start and stop and the second is for reset. <coughs> the discussion is in this project we have successfully simulated a digital stopwatch. This project was made based on digital counter. Then, we start by simulating the circuit in Proteus 8 and build it in Visual from in SOLIDWORKS. From the circuit, we use one IC555 as a timer for the stopwatch. After that, we use IC4026 to supply to 7 segment display. The design of product will create a stopwatch that is similar to the circuit. For example, two buttons for start and stop and reset and two LED for two digit number. <coughs> for conclusion, this project introduced some of the basic concept of counter digital stopwatch 
and they are used in electronic. Digital electronic is the foundation of modern computer and digital communication. It is compact digital logic circuit with millions of gates can be built onto a single integrated circuit known as a microprocessor and this circuit can be perform millions of operations per second. We learn that device can be more compact, faster, lighter and more versatile. Even the term information has expanded to include media such as data and file. Just like stopwatch, we can see the operation of the IC to make a timer and display number in a in an orderly manner. Thank you for watching this video.